and welcome to this video. Uh, we're back in the city today. I haven't shot in about a week, but it's absolutely gorgeous outside, so I didn't want to pass up uh, this day. And I was going to just record another POV video, um, but I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different and just add some commentary. So um, yeah, today we're just going to shoot. I'm going to film on the action camera and I will kind of talk you through uh, my thought process before I take a photo. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it and uh, let's go take some photos. Hi, uh, Mate from the future here. I tried doing real-time commentary while I shot, but after listening to the footage, I realized that when I try to explain my process while I'm shooting, it sounds like I've completely forgotten how to speak the English language, hence why I just decided to do a voiceover instead. My plan for the day was to start in the Upper West Side and shoot there while the light was good, and then see where the day would take me from there. Now, the Upper West Side is a neighborhood where you'll see a bit more locals than tourists, so it's usually a good place to find some interesting people. So I came over to this intersection and I noticed the bus was parked, so I thought I'd try to shoot through the bus windows, but my eyes gravitated towards the reflections on the window instead. I didn't actually realize that the driver was sitting right there inside of the bus until I moved over to get a different composition, and I actually tried to frame the reflections on his back and see how that would work. I stopped in the middle of the street here by this bench and noticed the facade of this building across the street and I thought it might be a nice frame with the wires and branches in the foreground. So I just waited around for a little bit for a singular subject to get the shot that I wanted. As I walked up the street, I found this purple wall of a building and I also liked how the tree's shadow was being cast on the wall, so I thought I would try to do something with it. I wanted a person to walk into or kind of out of the shadow, but I also just shot the scene without anyone in it first. And a horizontal frame here felt a little bit distracting with the wine boxes in the window, so a vertical composition here did the trick. Just a bit up the block, I found this red outdoor seating area, and I shot a lot of these on that day, as you'll see. And this one was under scaffolding, but the light was hitting it diagonally, so I wanted to wait and see if anyone interesting might walk through that streak of light. If I have a scene where I can camp out and wait for people to walk through, I like to kind of change up the composition and then compare it later on. So this Tacombe seating area across the street had some interesting colors and I thought it would make for a nice textured foreground. And I walked to the side of it to try this first composition out, but I think a longer focal length would have suited this shot a little bit better. And so I walked around and I kind of stood in the street and waited to see who might pass on the sidewalk, all while trying to make sure I uh, avoided getting hit by a car. I shot a lot of the color red up to this point and I spotted this woman wearing red and the red Amsterdam market sign in the background with the blue sky and yellow traffic lights so I kind of got all the primary colors in this one quick shot. As I got closer to the Amsterdam market sign I noticed the reflection and I loved the red lettering with the blue sky and these turned out to be some of my favorite images with different people kind of walking through. Recently I've been feeling inspired to look for and shoot in a slightly more abstract way and I'm looking for a lot more reflections and things of that nature and it's been nice just exploring that type of style a bit more. I came across this construction area up the block so I pulled over to kind of just scope out the scene from a little further away and plan a shot but when I walked close I kind of rushed these shots because I didn't want to feel annoying while they were trying to work but I do like how this photo of the worker holding the stop sign came out because you have that shadow that cuts across her face and I do like the colors that I got. 
I think there's a subconscious reason why I like to shoot either from across the street or behind different surfaces, and that's because the street or the surface will kind of act as a barrier between myself and the subject, and that allows me to be a bit more relaxed knowing I'm either out of sight of the people or if they were to get mad, I feel like I have some time to react to the situation because there is that physical distance and that physical thing between us. It also just allows me to wait longer at a certain spot for the composition I really want. I don't only shoot like this, but it definitely is one of the less anxiety inducing ways of getting shots in my opinion. I came to the end of the block and I noticed how the light was running parallel to this dining area so the sidewalk was lit up but the indoor part was in shadow. I got up close on the corner and I realized that the frame was pretty packed between the reflections that the surface was creating as well as some of the silhouettes from the people indoors and other subjects that were walking on the sidewalk and kind of into and out of the light. I mentioned earlier that I've been seeking out a bit more abstract compositions recently and for this scene, I tried to combine the colors and plants inside of the seating area with the reflection and people walking behind me. And I like photos where your eye is constantly moving around the frame looking at different elements of the image and that's kind of what I try to accomplish here. And I think that maybe if I shot this at a longer focal length with a bit more compression and maybe stop down to something like f8, it could have been a bit closer to what I had envisioned. I've been shooting vertical frames a lot more and a lot in this video as well. And when I got my first 35 millimeter lens, shooting vertically felt wrong and I almost strictly shot in a landscape orientation. But now that I'm taking a slightly different approach, I've found that a lot of the recent scenes I've photographed have just worked better as vertical compositions. As I was getting ready to leave the area, I found this interesting old car parked at the corner and knew I wanted to do something with it, but it was in a spot that made it a bit tough to frame up a good composition. And then yeah, very on brand for this video, I tried to incorporate the lines of the crosswalk in this reflection and line them up with the car somehow. I switched up the composition a bit to focus on the people waiting to cross the street. And I kind of like how these photos came out. They're a little bit messy, but I think the idea is there. Just before I hopped on the subway, I found this harsh shadow on the wall reflecting in the bus window and I waited around for different subjects and yeah, I ended up leaving the Upper West Side on a high note with these shots. I made my way down to 14th Street to meet up with Austin since I felt satisfied with what I got in the Upper West and I thought it would just be good to change up the location. I needed some caffeine so I bought an overpriced $7 Dunkin' Ice coffee which is absolutely criminal and I regret my purchase but it fueled me to play around with the shadows here by the subway entrance. I kept walking and the light on this car garage with the red signs caught my eye, but I didn't really feel like waiting around for a subject, so I just kept walking past it. But five seconds later, I saw this lady wearing red shoes and like a red dress. So I just stopped where I was and I turned around to go back and position myself to get a shot. But I actually ended up basically missing it because I didn't even look at my camera out of fear of being caught and I paid the price for it. She didn't step into the light anyway, so I guess it wasn't that big of a miss. I met up with Austin and we took the train down to the financial district because we had plans to meet up with another photographer named Kyler and we were all going to take the East River Ferry. We were slowly moving into golden hour at this point and while waiting for the ferry I walked around the pier and got a few shots.
As people filed onto a different boat, I shot some silhouettes through the windows of the boat, and I kind of like how some of these came out, especially the one with the guy in his hat. We boarded our ferry and by this point I had very little left in the tank energy wise so I did take a few photos but I just wanted to take in the views and relax and these were some of the last photos of the day for me before I got off at Midtown and started to make my way back home. Let me know if you guys have a favorite photo from this video and if you enjoyed the voiceover. But with that all said and done, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.